Today I will show you how to make this crazy low quality look. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of Lil Tekka from his Awa Awa music video. And you can have any clips by the way that you want. And what you need to do is right click on your clip and go to pre-compose. And here we can call this to 720 x480 and press on move all attributes into new composition now we need to do this to the clips that you want to have on the low quality look and we can press ok and now let's double press on the pre-composition we made and here we can go to composition composition settings and let's change the width to 720 and the height to 480 as we said in the name and we can press ok and now we might be wondering okay wh what did just scale it up well this is very important because we just made the quality lower but it scaled up because the quality is lower so we could just scale it down maybe i don't know let's make him like this you know and we can press ctrl y to make a new adjustment layer and on this adjustment layer we're going to add effects that will damage this look way more so uh, the first effect i like to add here is i think it's really important it's fast box blur if you've ever seen like damaged looks you know they have like some blur there so i'm gonna make the blur radius kind of low here to 0.8 and now we can add unsharp mass to kind of sharpen it a little bit so i like to make the radius to 2 and the amount to 120 and now we can add two different effects just add one of them which you like so the non-plugins version would be posterized so if you add posterized you can get this look and i would just recommend to make the level a bit higher maybe somewhere like here like maybe something like 17 and that's gonna look really really cool but if you have the sapphire plugin then you can delete the posterized and just add sjpeg damage and with sjpeg damage boom you just have it you know if you don't have to do anything else you can i mean you can make the quality lower but honestly that looks sick so yeah if you want you can do it like that but yeah i'm gonna keep the quality to 0 0.1 and you can play around with the settings, uh, do what you want guys, but just remember you have to have the Sapphire plugin there. And now to sauce it up a bit more, we can go back to the clips and we can press Control D. And this is a little thing, I don't think anyone else does this, but I love to do this. And let's make this go one frame forward, this is important, or you can make it go two frames forward. And here we need to add an effect called block the solve with block the solve i like to make the transition completion to 47 percent which already gives us like this crazy pixelated effect but i also like to go to block width and i like to make it to seven so yeah now you get this like super damaged low quality look you know with like pixels going around like it just i love that i mean look how it looks cool on these clips i mean before and after this effect is kind of crazy like it just damages the look like this i mean sure you can do some crazy things you can make for example the block height to 57 and then you will get this kind of a look which i also think is a super cool variation for these low quality looks but let's just keep that to one and now you want to go back to your main composition or whatever you have it called you will see okay wait so this is just scaled down well yeah let's scale it back up so uh, we can press s and we can just scale it up to how much you want you can keep the black bars like that you can just scale it up so the black bars are not visible do whatever you want i like it like this but you know it's all up to your imagination or you just do whatever you guys want here and guys if you want to get like way better this like low quality style you know and be able to actually do like some cool transitions between them you can actually add a lot of glitches i think glitches work fantastically for this style so one thing we can do is press ctrl y here and we can actually duplicate this layer so we can press ctrl d to duplicate and here we can add motion tile and let's just make the output width to somewhere like 80 and below that we can call this glitch now and the intro of the video you guys saw some glitches there so for the glitch part glitches are super hard to make in after effects but i have a really good solution for this issue i have made a glitch presets pack which lets you just literally just drag and drop glitches instantly on top of your clips and you will have the best glitches in after effects in one click so what we can do is on the glitch layer we can for example we can just double press on glitch one and boom we already have an insane glitch effect so the glitch effect ends right here so we can press ctrl shift d and cut that and delete it and let's go back to where it starts oh it starts right here so i can press ctrl shift d and delete that so yeah spice this style up with crazy glitches like that i mean it's an insanely cool transition to just have like that oh yeah wait let's actually add another transition right here okay okay so we can press ctrl y and here we can add 
one of my favorites, maybe in my favorite, is Glitch 10. This is a super damage, realistic, like a VHS glitch, you know, like from those VHS camcorders. Glitches, you know, we can maybe end it right, right there, yeah. It keeps going, but let's just end it right there. Yeah, I just love it so much. As you see, it flits fantastically with the style. And you can just keep going and you can just add so many more of these glitches and they work fantastically well for if you are shooting like a music video and you have to have, you know, a low quality style. But also guys, as a thank you for watching these videos and supporting my channel, I have to let you know that I have a $5 discount code for the glitch presets pack, which is going to be called glitch5. If you use the code glitch5 at the checkout, you will save $5 off on the glitch presets pack. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.